I feel like an ASMR person right now, but I feel like it's time to be honest if I regret buying a Rolex. I think buying watches is subjective because you really have to think why you're buying a watch. Are you really gonna mind buying an expensive watch? Do you actually like the watch? Do you actually like watches in general? And there's a lot of questions that you have to answer before you even buy the watch. So what I did at a very like early time was that a year ago, I would literally go to the Rolex store and I keep like asking questions, I look into them. I would start going into different websites and kind of just like look into different forums and start looking at questions, asking questions. And eventually whenever it became a year later and I started like realizing that I actually like watches and I had a passion for it, I was like, damn bro, I think it's time. So that's definitely something that I would recommend you do. Give yourself a few months before you even order the Rolex because you might freaking regret it. So that's like the last thing you wanna do. To unpack a little bit about luxury watches and I'm talking Patek, I'm talking Rolex, I'm talking AP, I'm talking even a freaking Citizen, a Seiko, anything that's like a super luxurious version of whatever watch company you choose. I think it is very important that you don't just like think, oh my God, everybody's gonna think I'm cool. I think you actually have to have a passion for it because I think if you buy something this expensive and you regret it, you never know like the, I honestly don't know the return policies. I don't even care about the return policies because I do not want to sell this and I do not want to like, you know, return this at all. Like all that stuff doesn't really matter to me. But I think if you're the type of person that is very regretful, which by the way, I always give buyers remorse with other things except this. I think you definitely need to unpack this before you even purchase because like for me, I have a lot of reasons why I like this watch, right? So for example, this watch in general gets me some access into my AD, which is my authorized dealer. Now they know me and now they like know that I'm, you know, gonna buy a watch. So now they're gonna be more comfortable ordering more watches in the future and selling me watches. So that's like awesome because then you build a reputation. That's what's important whenever you're buying Rolexes. Not only that, but then also I do want to engrave my, my last name in the back because I want, you know, my kids to kind of have it and for it to be like a family heirloom because I think that is very cool. And uh, my family's never really had one. So I kind of want to start the tradition because I think family history is freaking like insane, bro. I just always want to, I'm kind of chismoso, which means that you're kind of like um, nosy. So I kind of want to know what the hell was going on with the family. You know what I mean? Like, does that make sense? Like, I think that's pretty cool. So like if I receive something from one of my grandparents, or like one of my great, 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 great grandparents, um, you know, I think that'd be amazing. I'd be like, man, this is so cool. I can't believe, you know, whatever, whatever did this or was able to do this, you know? So I think it'd be insane for one of my grandchilds to, to be able to wear this Rolex in the freaking future. I think that's amazing. That's one thing why I wanted a Rolex. We're probably only like a minute and a half into this video and you can obviously tell that I'm pro having a watch and pro having a Rolex and I do not regret the purchase at all. But let's unpack a little bit more as why I'm so invested. So speaking of investing, you know, a lot of people do see watches as investments, which I don't think is the smartest thing to do. But um, I don't even see it that way, bro. Like what I really like is that one day I saw a video of Kevin Hart and this is like a little before I even got this watch. I remember he was saying that he gets a watch for every time he accomplishes something big in his life. And I honestly, I'm going to take it with a grain of salt. I don't think every movie role that he gets, he buys a watch. I think like whenever it's something monumental in the sense of like, if it's like a big movie role or what have you, like if he sells out a lot of arenas, I'm pretty sure that's what he means, right? So he buys himself a watch and I think that's so cool. And like, for example, this, this piece that I have, I kind of see it more of like, you know, for graduating school and also buying like my first freaking two houses in real estate. I think that's amazing and freaking crazy. So like those, those two or those three events, I think are very like monumental in my life. And I think they speak a lot. And also this is just the beginning, you know what I mean? And also this is such like a basic and simple watch. And I think that's freaking like cool, especially to start a collection that I'm going to eventually like be able to pass down to my kids. I think that's like, just the symbolism behind it is freaking amazing. Not to mention that what the symbolism in the future is also gonna symbolize, bro. That's just like, it's, I don't even have kids, bro. And I'm about to start tearing up. And I think that's hilarious. But uh, regardless to me, that's like something that I definitely wanna do. So I'm just waiting till like something cool happens in my life, bro. So I can buy another watch, you know what I mean? Nah, but completely kidding, not really. But that's definitely another reason why I wanted to start the collection. So another reason I wanted to start the collection as well is because when it comes to like clothing and not only clothing, but like materialistic things, like I never really buy anything crazy. Um, I feel, and I'm like not really too much of a drinker. I don't smoke. And also I don't like, you know, 
I, I'm oh, I love to gamble, you know, but I'm not like continuously gambling all the time. So I feel like I needed advice and why not buy a watch? I remember thinking to myself whenever I bought my first watch and thinking that I was gonna be like completely happy with it, which I am by the way, but then I was like, bro, I want more. Like honestly, it's like a bug that hits you, bro. It's like an addiction. And now that I got that freaking dopamine rush, bro, like on watches, it's just like, I wanna continue satisfying that feeling. So I think it's pretty cool picking up a hobby like this because why not? Let's be honest. Nowadays, there's a lot of red pill people out there telling you buy a watch, you need to have a watch. That's gonna start a conversation. You're gonna make sales this way, this and this and that. Honestly, when it comes to that, I'm not gonna tell you like necessarily on sales that it's done anything crazy in my life. But whenever it comes to like just having conversations and people asking me, bro, it's such a conversation starter. Like even if people don't know about watches, they like ask me and then we have a conversation about it. And then I'm like, you know, I just start saying the typical things like, oh, this is the kind of watch. It's a basic watch, but honestly, this is just the beginning. And this is the next one I want. And they're like, what the hell are you talking about? If they don't know about watches, but if they do know about watches, it is insane because it's that conversation. And they're like, oh my God, I have this watch and this bro. And it's happened so many times. Like at the shop, it's hilarious because I went up to this guy and he had a freaking GMT and I was like, bro, I want a GMT so bad, it looks so nice, right? And it was like a Rolex. And then he freaking has like eight of them, bro. And the other day he pulls up to the shop and he like has his watch on and he waves at me and he's like, having fun? You're gonna get another one one day, maybe like in five years. And I was like, bro, this guy's a troll. I thought it was hilarious, you know? But that's what I'm saying. It like starting these like little friendships and like conversations. And this guy's a whole customer, bro. I didn't even know who he was. And then we just started having a conversation. It's just insane, bro. And it's so motivating, dude, because just thinking about wanting to spend more money on a freaking watch just makes you more motivated, you know what I mean? So that's definitely something that you have to realize before you do it, but I don't know, man. It's, I think it's, it's a bug, bro. It bites you and you're in it forever. So there's like a moment in time. It's like a limbo, right? There's a time before you buy the watch and when you buy a watch. And I kind of touched base on this earlier. You get motivated because you want to buy that watch and you want to be able to afford it, right? Having it and wanting it, bro, is just so freaking motivating. Like, um, just, I remember at those times, bro, there's a lot of times that I would literally go to the grocery store and buy a rotisserie chicken and like rice or whatever. And I'd be like, dude, if I keep eating this way, I could just put more into the watch fund and get to that point, you know? So I, and that's so motivating. And then there's a lot of times where like I'm doing something at work or like, you know, making a sale on Facebook. And I'm just thinking to myself, like eventually if I continue this hustle, like that's just gonna be another watch. And I know what that makes me sound like. Y'all probably think that I just wanna buy more watches and that's all I care about. No, obviously I'm saving to like buy more real estate or whatever, but um, I'm just saying that because there's people bro that comment on my videos and they claim that they watch my whole video and they point out one thing that I did like in one second of the video and then they go based off of that. And I'm just like, bro, what the hell are you doing? Watch the whole video, bro. And then, you know, like it'll answer your question. So regardless, that's my whole point. Um, yeah, it's just like something that I definitely think it's motivating. Now I'm moving on to like when you buy it. So yeah, going back to what I was saying, there's a lot of times that, you know, I'm just thinking about it and it just motivates me. And that goes with a lot of things, like also with real estate, right? Like there's a lot of times when even I get changed back whenever I'm using cash and I'm like, dude, I'm gonna put this in a bucket and this bucket eventually turn into a freaking down payment for another house. And that's just how I think and how I always motivate myself because I feel like I, the way I budget in a sense is like every penny counts, you know what I mean? So I feel like if I get one penny and then I get 99 more, it's like, bro, I have a dollar. So I'm like always thinking like that and always kind of motivating myself. And I think it's important because I feel like if you find things and you find people that are motivating you in this way, I think, bro, you're golden. But forget watches, but I feel like a lot of things in general, like cars, like if you buy a sports car, right? And then you start going to a car club and y'all start talking and being motivated, then you want another one because you start talking to successful people that you're not even in their caliber and you're just trying to like, you know, get to that point. If you're like me and you just wanna be more like, you know, hard on yourself, then bro, that's just what it's all about. And see, and I feel like that's cool because I feel like you're always gonna be challenged, you know, and you're not gonna be complacent because you just feel like you, you feel like a rookie, you know what I mean? Like you just wanna keep going and I think that's important. And I feel like that's something that can definitely like motivate anybody. Now we gotta talk about the cons. Honestly, I thought there was a little bit of them, but there's a lot. So yes, the watch is very expensive. 
Watches in general are very expensive, especially if you get bit by the bug. Once you get addicted to them, you start wanting more and more and more. That's another con that you just start getting a little bit addicted to like, you know, collecting a little bit, but I feel like that's with everything. Um, like if you're a girl and you buy a Louis Vuitton purse, then you want another one, then you want another one, then you want another one. So that's just like the name of the game. But regardless of that, another thing that you just start getting so attached, and I don't know if y'all can see it, but I already have a little bit of scratches on it, bro. And yeah, that's like literally what's going on here. And it just sometimes like hurts my soul just knowing that it's like scratched, you know, it's sad. And that's the one thing that you really have to kind of like realize in your head that you do spend a lot of money on these watches. Like for example, myself, I do take it to work. A lot of people tell me it's a stupid idea, but at the end of the day, even my freaking Rolex dealer told me like, dude, you should do it. Like there's a lot of people that work in the refineries and they still wear them. They, you know, there's people that work in the ranches and they still have them and are wearing them and everything. And I'm like, well, you know, I am at a tire shop every once in a while. And I remember bro, one time, one of my employees almost scratched it and I was about to cry. Like I ain't gonna lie. Uh, whoa, the bars. But regardless, yeah, that's definitely one of those things that happens and it comes with the territory. I think another con that really stands out to me is just how complicated it is to get into the freaking like Rolex or even a watch, forget Rolex, right? But like AP, all these like other complicated, it's like the barrier to entry is very slim. And I'm talking about the legit way. I'm not talking about like buying from like, you know, from the market. I'm literally talking about like getting into it. Not only do you have to build a reputation with, you know, Rolex or whatever dealer you're going with, um, you have to build a reputation with them. And then also you have to like save a lot of money and you know, like for example, this one is finance, right? And it just sucks because sometimes it feels very complicated to get into the freaking watch game. You know what I mean? It just, it's crazy. But regardless, that's pretty much how I feel about everything. Um, do I regret buying a watch? No, honestly, like I told y'all, I'm glad that I did my due diligence and I was able to like be patient and just stick it through and talk to a lot of people and tell them like, hey, do you think this is a dumb idea? Do you think I'm gonna regret it? And honestly, a lot of the times, my family, they always told me, bro, you're gonna regret it. It's stupid, you know, you're, that's expensive, whatever. I'm glad that I came to realize that I actually have like a passion for it and that I actually like it. And I think that's all that matters at the end of the day. I feel like if you do something just because somebody else is doing it, don't freaking do it. Do it because you want to and because you genuinely are liking what you're doing. Um, it's just crazy how like how much of a nerd I am bro and like whenever I see I haven't seen like an AP in real life bro or like a Patek anything or even a Richard Mill bro I, I would like literally I'd pass out but just seeing other people with Rolex on forget Rolexes also like if I see like a nice watch I'll admire it and I'm like hey bro I just want to say you have a nice watch you know what I mean but I, <laughs> it's like I don't know bro I don't know what's going on with me I feel so like so bougie like I can see myself with a polo shirt on you know some nice um, I don't know, some nice like old school jeans with like some loafers on a yacht and being like, hey, I would like a like a tequila in my hand and being like, hey, brethren, I admire your watch. And then you know what I mean? Like talking after that and then just making business together. <laughs> like that's what I picture doing. I definitely have a horrible imagination. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This one was a quick one. And yeah, I, I really enjoyed making this one, guys. So go ahead, like, subscribe, comment. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.